Hello guys, today I'll show you how to simulate the software of PIA portal which is used to program a Siemens PLC. So we need main two tools like a TI Portal 7 and S7 PLC Sim. Okay. <clears throat> so let's open the TI Portal. It will take a little bit time because uh, the software is huge one. So if you want to open any project which you already created, just select the project and click on open. If you want to delete it, you can click on remove. Okay, you want to create a new project. So we'll click on create a new project and mention the name of project like a dual starter, dual program. and click on create so once the project is created so we can we have to add or configure a device okay so configure a device click on a configure a device here we have to add a device click on add a device see here we are getting all the options like creating a HMI PC system for SCADA and controller so I'll select the controller we'll start with the controller now and select the CPU I'm here I'm selecting S7 1200 so click on CPU any CPU you can select but don't forget that we have to it has to be the version 4.0 and above okay you have to <coughs> for the simulation purpose this should be the criteria okay click on add this plc is added to the network it will take a little bit time because the software is huge one so all the options are available in one software that's why it is called as a totally integrated automation software so here this wizard will appear if you are willing to set up any password you can click on setup and set up the password uh, to protect the program to be changed okay so for now for simulation i am going to remove all the protections and all so click on next and only the secure pgpc connections like a specific uh, programming cable we have to use for communicating between HMI PLC or programming the PC sorry PLC so I'll remove this one too click OK here no access if this program will not be having an access or a PLC so I'll give, give the full access here and click on next and click on finish this is what we have added the device now so after adding the device here we can see the device okay you can zoom it and check the device here so it has got already inputs like a 0 to 7 that is 8 inputs and 0 to 5 address has been mentioned here i 0, .0 .0 and u 0, .0 to 5 so we can use these same address to work with the inputs and outputs so one more important information that we cannot trigger them through the program okay there are two types like we can use uh, for input purpose for simulation purpose memory flags for uh, triggering in program or else we have to trigger them through the simulator so that's that i will let you know in the next uh, sessions like uh, click on program blocks here and uh, click on main ob1 okay this is the main object where we are developing the program double click on it it will open one programming window where we can develop the ladder diagram so here we can see this we can minimize and this i'll take so 
here we got one rung okay so to develop the program as i already said normal open normal close contacts and empty boxes are available so we can take them and develop it so here i will select m0.0 .0. so to show the difference like how we can control the inputs in program and from the simulator like here q0.0 .0, i'll give you one address this is a simple series circuit i have created series program and one more dol program we will create like a take a no and nc and one parallel contact so take one <coughs> external line from here to take the parallel contact to this no contact you have to select this okay so first select the rail and click on this open branch one branch will be open so click on no contact and connect up so here i'll mention i 0, .0 q 0, .0 i 0 0.1 so we have to take same address as it is mentioned on the plc okay so q 0. .0 one i'll take because zero i have already taken over there q zero dot okay if you want to rename the tags click on right click and click on rename tag here i will take flag start flag i'll take okay press enter enter and here i'll name it as a output this is for test purpose and this is the dual starter program in the sense here i will take it as a start underscore pb next this is a stop underscore pb this will take it as a motor so here we can see a if i change the tag name of this q0.0.1 automatically it is also changed because address is same so now the program is being developed so we have to compile this first to check the errors whether any errors are created or not or a program is correct or not okay here we'll get the result like a zero errors and zero warnings now this program is ready to dump in a plc so we right now we don't have any plc with us so we can simulate it so for that purpose we have to click on simulator it will open the simulator so it gives some warnings the blocks contains in this project cannot be simulated with the plc sim do you want to enable the support simulation during block compilation option in the project properties yes so here simulator is turned on so we have to open the simulator to trigger if you want to trigger these inputs and uh, check the result uh, we have to import so here it is asking for the certificate or consider as a trusted click on consider as a trusted it is asking for security we have to allow it to communicate with this plc program it is compiling all blocks and configurations and simulator will be started so now we have to load the program once it is loaded click on finish or else we can put it in a start module okay we will not start this model from here we will keep it as a no action click on finish once if it is created then we are ready to open this simulator
So during this process, if it is asked anything, just click on load and finish it. And uh, then click on the button over here. It will open the simulator where we can import the tags and trigger those tags to trigger those inputs. So here, ELC sim is on. Now, go to projects. Click on new project. So I'll make it as a DOL. PRG, you can give any name. Okay, click on create. Here you can see it is version 17. Click on create. So similarly, if we are working on any previous developed project, you are opening the same project, then uh, you can open this simulator file also. Okay, so that that will directly link to that file. So once the project is created, So here you will find the sim tables. So double click on the sim table one. You will find this table. No need to add anything manually. Just click on this load project tags because it is already created and connected to that PLC. And just click on this load project tags. All the tags been created means uh, added over here. Okay. Here if you check. <clears throat> all the inputs and uh, these things are already available over here just we have to check which all the inputs we are using and trigger those inputs as we have selected the different plc like uh, it has got a many uh, descriptions so here we will find out the Trigger inputs we are using. So okay, I0.0, I0.1. This is a start and this is stop. Here you can see, and this is output, and this is motor, and this is start flag. So these we can trigger over here. Okay. Now the difference between memory flag triggering and input triggering. I'll I'll show you how we can do it. Just open TI portal 7 and minimize this compilation and open this so now we have this program with us and click on go to online and put the plc in run mode that we can do it from here also in plc mode this is run button here you'll find the run button okay now plc is in run mode so to check the status here one monitor on off button is there will turn on the monitor okay now we can check these inputs and outputs so this is normally open contact signal is flowing till this point after this we have to trigger this so now from this in program i can trigger it to modify it to one okay now it is triggered so output q0.0 is on if i release this modified to zero it is possible to do it from here but what about this i0.0 i0.1 if i trigger this from here it will not be triggered so to trigger these things okay we have got this plc simulator <coughs> so these are the bits we can trigger over here this is a start bit and stop bit. Here it is being clearly mentioned. Clearly, it is seen that M0.0. This bit cannot be triggered from here because that is a memory flag which can only be triggered inside the program. Okay, now this is a start bit. So once the start bit is turned on, motor is on. Here you can see the motor. So I'll trigger the I will release it. You can see the working of the program over here. Okay, now I will click on stop button. It turns off the motor. 
this is how we can simulate it and uh, you can save the project and you can work on these things in next video i'll show you the timers and counters and other different <coughs> programming blocks how we can use it and how we can program them and uh, thank you for thank you guys thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if anybody needs this video just share the link with them so that they can also learn these things and don't forget to subscribe to my channel like it thank you guys thank you for watching